The first time Natasha Cottle visited Disney World in 2022, she didn't realize she could apply for Disability Access Services, DAS. Cottle, a 26-year-old content creator and accessibility advocate, was born with a rare eye disorder called achromatopsia. According to the Cleveland Clinic, this condition limits people's ability to see color vision and also causes other vision issues, such as rapid eye movements. My eyes are extremely sensitive to all light, both inside and outside. This makes being outside in sunlight painful, even when I'm wearing sunglasses, Cottle, who resides in Chicago, tells people exclusively in an interview, during her first Disney trip, Cottle endured the discomfort. I also attended extra magic hours at nighttime so that I was able to see without pain, she recalls, since that first visit, Cottle has returned to the park three more times. For each subsequent trip, she obtained a DAS pass. This pass allowed her to schedule rides in advance and then wait for them comfortably indoors, in the stores, or at restaurants in the parks. On April 9, Disney updated their policies for guests with disabilities. These changes take effect on May 20 at Walt Disney World and June 18 at Disneyland. According to Disney's website, DAS passes will now only be available to guests who, due to a developmental disability like autism or similar, are unable to wait in a conventional queue for an extended period of time. Along with these changes, Disney is also adding more options for guests needing support navigating attraction queues, Disneyland officials told People. Disney is dedicated to providing a great experience for all guests, including those with disabilities. Which is why we are so committed to delivering a wide range of innovative support services aimed at helping our guests with disabilities have a wonderful time when visiting our theme parks.